Palestinian militants in the Gaza Strip fired rockets towards southern Israel late on March 8, Israeli officials said. According to Esderet's municipality spokesperson, three rockets were fired at the southern Israeli city. There were no reports of casualties or damage following the launch. After nearly five months of war, much of Gaza is in ruins. International pressure is growing on Israel and Hamas to reach a deal that would halt the fighting and release the remaining Israeli hostages held by the militant group. Israel launched its offensive in Gaza after Hamas-led militants stormed across the border on October 7, killing some 1,100 people, mostly civilians, and abducting around 250. Over 100 hostages were released in November in exchange for 240 Palestinians imprisoned by Israel. Gaza's health ministry says at least 30,179 Palestinians have been killed. It does not differentiate between civilians and combatants in its tallies but says women and children make up two-thirds of those killed. The ministry, which is part of the Hamas-run government, maintains detailed records and its casualty figures from previous wars have largely matched those of the UN and independent experts. Gaza's humanitarian crisis is particularly dire in the north, where many of the estimated 300,000 people still living there have been reduced to eating animal fodder to survive. The UN says one in six children younger than two in the North suffers from acute malnutrition. Meanwhile, IOS President Joe Biden has made a significant announcement during his State of the Union address, revealing plans for the country's military to construct a temporary port in Gaza to facilitate the delivery of essential humanitarian aid to civilians in need. This initiative aims to address the pressing humanitarian crisis in the region and provide much-needed support to the vulnerable population. The decision underscores the U.S. government's commitment to assisting those affected by the ongoing challenges in Gaza. The establishment of the port will enable large ships to transport vital supplies such as food, water, medicine, and temporary shelters to the area. The project's primary feature will be a temporary pier, with officials anticipating that it will be operational within a few weeks. This timely intervention is expected to have a significant impact on improving the delivery of aid to Gaza. On the Israeli front, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has publicly ruled out Hamas's demands for an end to the war, saying Israel intends to resume the offensive after any ceasefire, expand it to the crowded southern city of Rafwan and battle on until total victory. He has said military pressure will help bring about the release of the hostages.